Hello adventurers, this is Zexty again, just bringing you another quick guide. This one's going to be for Path of Glory. Um, this is going to be for people who might be having issues with it. Um, so I'm going to be lowering my CP to around 180,000 CP for my whole team. So as you can see, I took off all my jewelry, I took off my emblem um, for all of my characters. So this should bring me right around 180k CP. Uh, taking off this jewelry, it, it should kind of affect my stats, um, but that'll be okay. My stats in terms of like movement speed, attack speed, um, and then also like um, my Ahib, Surret, um, Owls, those types of things. But I'll make it work and then I'll kind of show you what I do. So this is actually the worst start in my opinion, having a uh, Muskin. So normally what I'll do is I'll put all of my characters together, um, that way I can have two people on him at a time, but sometimes what I'll do with Muskin, uh, especially when I was lower CP, I would just start off with the, the little air raid first, the cannon barrage thing, um, just because he does do a lot of damage and you don't really want to lose that much HP early on, so um, there are there's two routes you can either do it the way i'm doing it right now which is kind of just muscle through it just face tank all of his damage and then um kind of hope for the best or you can try to knock him out as quickly as possible and then use the that little cannon barrage thing uh just to conserve your hp but normally if i don't start out with him what i will prioritize is the statues um i'll always try to get tier two just because that will help me sustain through all of the damage from the final boss as well. Um, so as you can see, my main character, sh she did get kind of low, but uh, I know that these upcoming bosses, they don't do that much damage. So Red Nose honestly doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, the guy who summons totems, he does zero damage. Um, and then you just kind of have to be careful with, with Beej, whatever his name is. So. I do want to make a quick comment, so while you're doing this, you can actually use your pets. I forgot to show you early on, but I'll show you at the end of the video, um, where if you have pets that do extra damage to bosses, um, try to equip those. Those, will, those effects will work here in uh, Path of Glory, so you kind of want to get as, as high of uh, damage as possible towards towards bosses so that'll definitely help you out um here i just kind of keep my formation where it's like okay i just want two in the in the middle and then that's where red nose stands most of the time if you kill him quick enough he won't even charge at your gate if he does charge at your gate just move one character to the gate and then uh move him back once you're done but as you can see i did move my main character hina uh just to conserve her hp again uh because if she dies everyone dies but I know that this next one's gonna be really safe, so um, I'll be moving her back towards the front so she does the most DPS. And then also, because I have lower DPS, I am gonna move one of my characters over towards that gate because he does summon these totems. Um, so I wanna kind of attack those totems just to mitigate some damage if possible. And there's Gaeth, again, not a lot of damage. Um, he basically just sits there and face tanks you and he summons totems to do damage to your, to your gate. And this is where I moved, um, my character once and then again so that way my timer would reset um, you can kind of do that if you need to I just did it because I knew that I was gonna move two characters again anyway so I'd rather have two movements rather than just one whenever I'm ready
So there I just get the statue bonus. So I start healing my characters. I actually should have moved um, my main one Hina towards the middle so she could heal, but um, I just made a mistake. So it is what it is. If it's possible, try not to have your characters spread all over the place. Try to have them kind of like grouped up or conglomerated together. You can put your characters towards the front. I just prefer keeping mine towards the back because I know this character, he runs all the way over to the to the beginning, so I just want them over there. Um, all the time, pretty much. So here, this guy will do, in my opinion, the most damage to your gate. So if you can, um, put your strongest characters on him and make sure that they DPS him down. If you had already used like the, the cannon barrage on Muskin, you probably won't have enough for the, the um, statues, I guess, the healing ones. So you could probably use another air raid here and then you'd just sacrifice the fact that you don't have any healing later on. Um, so here I do like to use the uh, attack buff. If you never got the rejuvenation spirit, you would have enough for just one attack buff. So um, keep that in mind. And then what I have here is just a little extra just because I got the rejuvenation spirit. So I'm going to end up barraging him with these uh, little air raid right whenever the biggest clump of, of mobs come up. So like right now I'll do it, the air raid, just to try to take out some more of them before they get to my gate. And then kind of move your main around if you need to. Um, just don't let them die. That's your main objective. So we're coming up here on the end, and that's pretty much how I do Path of Glory. I am higher combat power, but hopefully this kind of shows you that you can do it lower. Um, so if you are struggling, just try to do along the same lines of what I did. Obviously the boss order changes a bit, but um, for the most part, that's what I do, or that's what I try to do every time I do Path of Glory. Um, I will be having one where I do my full combat power, and you'll see that it's it's a lot easier. I take a lot less damage, but hopefully this helps. I am just going to show you really quickly that uh, where you can look at your boss damage. So it's going to be on your main page, so under your info, and then uh, damage to bosses, non-world bosses. So your pets do help out with that, so at least have one of them, um, and it, it really increases your damage. So. Again, hopefully this helps. If you would, please like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.